It's the little things that crack me up, man, from a small town. You gotta learn pretty quick to be entertained by the simple things in life. You know what I mean? Like the Burger King. <laughs> Not a Burger King. Like there might be several in the world. <laughs> it was the Burger King, man. I remember the day we got our Burger King. It was a huge deal. They're balloons. They had that one dude that just goes out there and was like, <laughs> People outside just looking at it, man. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like it does on the TV, huh? One day I will work here. <laughs> we, we never went in the Burger King. We just cruised around it in our cars for hours. That's what people think we're stupid. I go, hey, I'm not stupid. Dizzy, yes. <laughs> we used to torture our Burger King, man. I remember one time, we went through the drive-thru, okay? On the menu of the drive-thru, there was a sign up there that said, intercom broke, please drive around. <laughs> and, uh, we were like, are they mocking us? <laughs> but when no one was looking, we took their sign down and we made up our own sign, we stuck it up there. Our sign said, intercom broke, please shout your order. People, people just pull up and shout your order. I want a number three! Hello! We had so much fun with that one, man. After a while, we just made up all kinds of weird signs just to see if people would do it, you know? <laughs> Free Whopper if you can lay a patch of tire rubber from here to the second window. <laughs> like, Come on. Right there. Huh? What's that right there? Looks like a Whopper to me. Don't make, don't make me come in there. <laughs> or a free milkshake when you show us your boobies. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want my milkshake. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Because I work there. <laughs> 